Hey, all viewers and viewers, my name is Sean Red Strategist, and welcome back to Outlast. It's episode 17, as promised. Um, I'm basically recording this straight after the 16th one, so yeah. Uh, we know what's going to happen now, don't we? We're going to pick up this camcorder, we're going to go into night vision, there's going to be guys there, we're going to have to find our way to get back to the floor above. Hiya! How you doing? Hang on, what were they defending? Were they defending something? Nope, that's not openable. Okay, they're not actually defending... Oh, fuck. <laughs> Bad area to be, that. Why are you a thing, seriously? God, the lag! Bloody FPS lag! Wait, can I... No, I can't. Um, I've got to find a way back up. Here? Nope. Oh, shut up. Go away. Well, seriously, where do I go here? Because this is completely fucking blocked. Oh, fuck off. Seriously. It's got to be it. Fuck. Get out the fucking way. There we are. It's in Yeah, it was back up here, as I thought before. Ah, you pricks. <laughs> You're just going to wander off. You're not going to follow me. Idiots. Okay, let's get out of here. Amazed this character is still alive and he hasn't, like, died with the amount of times he's been hit already by meat cleavers and all sorts of things. Okay, uh, da -da -da. where was I? Um, yeah, up this way. And through there, I think it was. Yeah, come on. There we are. Oh, shut up, seriously. Stop whining. Can I jump up there? Yep, I can. That's good. Excellent. We're here. Go on, up you go. Find Father Martin. Oh, God. Is he somewhere else now? What is he doing, seriously? There we are. We're a curse. And we're running out of battery already. Isn't that excellent? Follow the... Fucking hell. That was the, the area before, yeah. Not open. Nice. Nice. Not nice, even. Oh, what is going on in there? Jeez. What's the deal? God, the friggin' FPS lag. These areas are just insane. There we are. We're across. Something else going to collapse? Where am I going here? This way? I think. Maybe. Perhaps. No, that was not where I was meant to go, was it? God, it's hard to see with that friggin' night. Good God, I've got ten, ten FPS! Are you fucking kidding me? Fourteen? Seems to be when I look in certain directions, isn't it? Yeah, come on. Go across there. Just turn that off for now. Okay, we're going this way, I think. Um, maybe? What? Why am I not going any further? Or is this the right way to go? This might not actually be the right way to go. Okay. It might be a red herring then, right? I, I, I guess I don't... What? I t uh, this way? Hang on, did I? Oh, I could have literally... Hello! <laughs> How are you doing over there? Well, you've seen me, but you don't seem to be doing anything to attack me or anything. Only one way out. Only one way. That way. <laughs> yes. I see what you mean, my friend. Only one way. Hmm. Sip of tea, yes. Yes, you could look like you could do with a sip of tea. My god, what is going on with your eyeball? <laughs> what a pretty face he's got. Nice. God, look at that. World's best looking man. Contender, 2016, right there. I say 2016 since 2015 is nearly over. But yes. Hmm. Yes, uh, you're a very nice guy. <laughs> like how his uh, head actually turns to look at me as I look at him. Very fascinating. How do you know you're not a patient? Well, I don't know. Have you shut the door on me? Oh, thanks. I guess it's nice to shut the doors. I mean, I, I mean I'm mean, i actually an investigative, uh, investigative journalist, so yeah. Uh, that's how I know I'm not... Fuck! Jesus, that lagged. Why did that lag? Something load? There's something big load in! 
Oh, we're on like a walkway or something here. Hell. Yeah, I know. Press R to reload. Yes, I get it. Hmm. Saving. Good. Goody gumdrops. What have we got? Chapel, cafeteria, recreation hall, library, lobby. Oh. Hello. I saw you in the distance there. Who's in here? Shut that. Any barteries? Barteries are always nice. Computer. Oh, is that something? No, it's just a screen. Potted plant. Hello. Do 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 do. Uh, doesn't look like anything there. Wait. Oh, I hear you. It's fat guy. I hear his chains. Oh fuck, he's coming through that one. <laughs> Go round you. Oh, hello! <laughs> hello! How you doing, buddy? Uh, why am I in here? Why did I think... Well, that wasn't a good idea, was it? <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, I should have just ran straight down the corridor. Wow, a silly thing I did. Alright, you bitch. Oh, then again, I could just go down here, couldn't I? Or not. Okay. Oh, what's he up to? Coming forward, are you? Look at you, what a prick. <laughs> Will he go into that room? Okay, answer to that is clearly no. into the darkness where he can't see me. Oh, right. Through we go. Go. Oh, uh, can I go in there? Yeah, I can. It's probably not a good idea. Shit. Um, what am I doing here? Seriously. <laughs> He's probably going to see the doors open and be like, Hey, who's in there? Is he coming? Where are you? Oh god, here you come. Jesus. <laughs> He's definitely coming through this way. How you doing, fatty? Oh god, you are coming in here. Oh, don't come round, seriously. Just be a dick move. There we go. Yeah, you go off that way. Right, now you're going that way. What? He's basically patrolling the corridor, isn't he? You are too dark. Hello. You're going around that way? Okay, that's fine. Oh, is that a vent? Aha! Maybe I was supposed to go up this way. Ah! Sneaky! Hello. Good. There's a couple of... Oh, there's a body over there. Or is that an actual guy? I don't know. Hey, you. Hey, you. I'm sneaking up on you. Hiya! <laughs> Look at him. He's like... Oh, yes! <laughs> this mouse wouldn't interact. Push him! Push him out there! Oh, look, it's this area, I think. Is it? <coughs> oh, God, my voice is going a bit. Saving! Ooh. Wow, I was going through there. Oh, it's the library! Wait a second. What's going through here? No, this is completely different to before. The hell? That's broken. Okay. Anything in here that's worth me finding? Yeah, clearly not. Okay. Take that off. What I need is batteries, ideally. 
don't know why I'm speaking with American accent all of a sudden. It's more like it. Retrieve the key from the recreation hall. Yes, coming. I'm coming. Hmm, recreation hall is up. I see. <laughs> How I get up. Okay, needs a key. Right, 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 right. So I have to go this way, maybe? Oh, hello, what's this? What is this? A door that doesn't open. It's nice and filmy, glassy. A2 10. Hello. What's in here? Ah, oh, piano tune. That actually sounds kind of nice for a change. Is this the recreation area? Hello there. <laughs> okay, saving. Right, that's good. Priest, television, 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 television. Hmm, what have we got in here? Anything? A locker I can hide in. A radio. Another locker I can hide in. A door that doesn't open. Yep, I kind of guessed that I probably wouldn't. There is a ladder. Hello. What's going on up here? Hmm, boxes. Right, it looks like we're going on this little uh, jam. The uh, jam? Uh, the lip? The ledge thing here? Hmm. Hang on a minute, what's that? Oh, no, it's just the pipe vent thing. It's just a ventilation thing. That's all it is. Oh, God. Why's my button on my shirt come undone? One second. Ah, go on, get that in base. <laughs> Priorities, everybody. The button on my shirt came undone for some weird reason. Okay, that's that. This looks like this is, uh, these aren't going to open. Nope, they're not. As expected. As long as I can hide in. Oh. oh, that's you who's playing that piano. Hey, dude, how you doing? <laughs> what are you up to? Oh, look at him. Look at him. Oh, you're going off in that direction? Okay, then. Please, keep playing your piano tune. It was very nice. Hmm, hello. What's going on here? Um, hang on. Is that something? No. Higher. Is anyone hitting any batteries round? This hospital is in a real state, isn't it? What's been really going on here? Ooh, what's this? Ooh, is this uh, where the piano is? Yeah, it is. That's where the piano is. So you've got an audience, definitely. Oh god, too dark. Hello. Uh, where are we going? Whoa! What the? Whoa! Uh, exit interview recorded December 27th, 1985 in Los Alamos, New Mexico. Clearance Sierra Alpha. Subject, Dr. Rudolf Wernicke, 14866. The films are real. Uh, there was no alteration to the footage at all? No triggery? None. In June of 1943, you recorded three instances of spontaneous bleeding. Uh, half a dozen test subjects began to develop brain tumors? Yes. The autopsies revealed that the tumors were pure lead. It killed them? Can you explain why the results could not be reproduced in the United States? I have my theories. My homeland in those years. It's impossible to understand the things we felt, what we believed. The overwhelming fear, ecstatic rage, and English words are insufficient. More than hope. A human mind in that environment is capable of extraordinary things. You're saying the experiment needed... The proximity to death, to overwhelming madness. Only a test subject who had witnessed enough horror was capable of activating the engine. Do you believe your test subjects achieved something supernatural? No. Do you think that they contacted something supernatural? Nothing is supernatural. Then what was it? You said Project Wallrider was a gateway. A gateway to what? Oh, 
Okay. Morphogenic active engine activation sequence. So that was obviously about the German guy, Wernicke, the Nazi scientist. Is it just gonna replay again? What? Okay. I don't think it is gonna play it. Oh. Right. So apparently there's something called the morphogenic engine. And in order to activate it, you like have to use somebody who has witnessed terrible horrors. Okay. I Right. That's a whole new element of the story that I don't think I've picked up on before. I mean I've heard of like this dream therapy in War Rider, but what's the morphogenic engine? I think there was a note there as well that came up. Um Vernica exit interview. The man sounds like Dr. Strain loves, uh, Strange Love's anemic brother. It's a 25-year-old audio recording, an interview with this Dr. Wernicke. Los Alamos means government work. Wernicke talks about spontaneous bleeding tumours, psychosomatic uh, reactions in sufficiently disturbed people. Seems to walk a line between science and Nazi mysticism. Only a test subject who had witnessed enough horror was capable of activating the engine, the morphogenic engine. The engine, the movie they're projecting, it gets in my head like a song you can't stop humming. I blink and see Rosach, te Rosach tests that look like swarming insects and infected surgery wounds. The patients talk about using the engine to conjure the wall rider. It's the buzzing I hear in my bones. Right? Okay. That's interesting, but... What the fuck is going on? Jeez. Is that projectionist's room up there? Lockers. Oh, what there? Came on automatically then. Hi. Okay, fine Vernicky. So it's pronounced Vernicky. Okay, I've been pronouncing it wrong. It's Vernick. Vernicky. Vernicky. Wait, what's this? Hang on, can I go up to, to the uh, projection room? By the looks of it, I, I might be able to. Maybe? I don't know. Can I get under there? Yeah, I can. Hello. Could really do with finding some more batteries at some point. Yeah, this is... I think the... Oh, hello, I think there's a battery over there. Give me that battery. There we are. Good. Whoa! Hello! <laughs> what are you up to? Wait, you've just disappeared. How did you... Come on, now. Seriously? Come on. Open that door for me. <laughs> ah. For once, a jump scare actually got me. It's been a while. God, what's he up to, seriously? Oh, who's that? Who's that over there? Hang on, have you come? Ah! Came out through here, I see. You sly little devil. Yeah, I needed another save point, ideally, fairly soon, because I want to wrap this episode up. <laughs> yeah. Oh gosh, this is a big ledge here. Come on. Come on, me lad. What are you up to? Probably turn my um, thingy off at the moment. Um, do I have to jump? I think I have to jump. There we are. I'm on. What's in here? Key! And get to the third floor now. Good. There we go. We've got a save point. Thank God for that. But uh, there we are. I think it's time to wrap this episode up. So, this is episode 17 of Outlast with me, General Red Strategist. We just saw something there that was integral to the storyline, I feel. I mean, I'm still not entirely sure what the purpose of all of this is. Like, you know, we learnt about, obviously, this thing called the Wall Rider before, and we've been hearing things about dream therapy and all this, but, like, now we've got this thing, the morphogenic engine? Like, 
I guess soon we'll be finding out what the whole, like, kind of ulterior purpose of all of this actually is. I don't know. But yeah, so, yeah. I, I, I must say, right now, the one thing that is keeping me playing this is the storyline. You know, apart from barring that one jump scare just then, I must say that, like, the tension is... You know, it, it's gone but pretty much by this point, but yeah. Um, yes, hope you'll join me for episode uh, 18 when I get around to that. And in the meantime, this is John Red signing off. Goodbye. Whoa, Jesus Christ. Holy shit. Fucking hell. Bloody hell, that did like a million damage. This better not be a... Whoa! Shit! No! Oh my fucking god! How many... What? Holy shit!